Broncos. The Ravens and Cowboys took big leaps into the top 10 with Baltimore at seven and Dallas at 10, folks. Dallas at 10. Wait, Dallas? Dallas is at 10. I don't know. I've been here about two years. Has Dallas ever been at 10? No. Since I, no, okay. I don't think so. Uh, meanwhile, the other America's team dropped to 16. That's the wow. Patriots after their blowout loss to the Chiefs. Uh, we take a look at those rankings as you do at home. Plexico Burris back here hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Stephen A., um, I'll give it to you first. Issue with the rankings? Yeah. I think Cincinnati should be atop the power rankings right now. It's just week three. We we're only going by, well, I'm sorry, it's week four, but they didn't play last week. But just three games into this season, I do understand that nobody's sitting there, sitting here saying they're going to win the Super Bowl or anything like that. I'm certainly not going that far. But power rankings are something that takes place week to week. And I'm of the belief that the Cincinnati Bengals right now deserve to be atop the rankings. They are undefeated. They have the number one defense in the league in terms of points allowed. Um, they get after it. They're athletic. They can cover. Uh, they can tackle. They play a physical brand of football. And offensively, they appear to be incredibly disciplined. Uh, you got A.J. Green and Sanu that's being primary targets as wideouts for Andy Dalton, who's completing about 65% of his passes, by the way. But you also have Giovanni Bernard, who's being effective, not just in the running game, but he's got 12 receptions on the year as well. So the combination of that level of balance, along with the fact that they play defense, along with the fact that they are physical and that they get after it, and they're undefeated, and I'm looking at the fact that two of their, you know, their three victories, even though I don't really got, I mean, the third one was against Tennessee, which was an easy one, 33-7. to seven. Uh, That was a walk in the park for them. Uh, but the first two victories, the Baltimore Ravens beating them in the season opener, beating Atlanta after Atlanta had beaten New Orleans and then smacking them around 24-10, to 10, I'm going to go with them. I'm not saying they're better than since Seattle. I'm not saying they're better than Denver. But based on what we've seen thus far mm -hmm. in terms of power rankings, I would say Cincinnati deserves to be atop the field. Before you go, I just have one issue with your issue. And this is probably way over my head. My tiny brain can't quite okay. comprehend. Oh, boy. But go ahead. You, you, you just <laughs> raved about the team that should be number one in the power rankings. Yet just yesterday on this show, you said that the team now ranks 16th in the power rankings, the New England Patriots. Uh -huh are going to beat the team that should be number one on Sunday night in Foxborough. And that's sort of, that, that, that just blows well, can, all my circuits. Well, you, can, you can act like you're confused <laughs> all you want to, or, it, or you may very well be confused. I'm confused. But I'm very clear. <laughs> oh, go ahead and be confused. Go ahead and be confused. That just, that just means that y'all need to wax your ears and listen clearly. The fact is, is that I, I have, I have repeat, unwaxed. Yeah, thank you. I have repeatedly said the power rankings are different. I take that week to week. Right. Week to week, based on what you've done right now, right. what would, so, would I say? So, no, you, right so, now. So, so next mean week, gonna, if, if, if in exactly. fact your prediction is if, correct, then, then the, next week's power rankings should be New England number one can and Cincinnati 16. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Are there power rankings that come out every week? Yes. yes. Then why do they come out every week? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. So I'm we sorry. Talk about I, thought, I thought power yeah, rankings come out every week, so from week to week, we can sit there and say, this is how a team looks yeah. this week. Yeah, the, the power rankings are based on a week-to-week -week basis. That's all I'm saying. I base my power rankings on the team, <laughs> personnel, and how good I think they are. But I, don't. I, I don't think I don't think Cincinnati Bengals are number two team. Well, I, I, allow me to say this. I, I don't think I am a soap opera fan. Right. All right. I watch General Hospital. Yes, religiously. we know. I used to. I know that no matter what, Sonny Corinthos is going to live and he's going to be a star in the show. But that doesn't mean that day to day, <laughs> week to that. week, yeah. there's a storyline that doesn't come with it. So this is the storyline. Now, in the end, I'm thinking New England's going to be in the Super Bowl. In the end, I'm thinking Denver and, since, and New England's going to be in the AFC championship game. Yeah, but, it doesn't mean that I ignore what's going on in week okay. three right. and, right. and live what's in What's your on issue that. with the rankings? Uh, my issue with the rankings is that, you know, I think, this, I think the San Diego Chargers are a lot better football team than a lot of people are giving them credit for. Okay. I give him mean. credit. He gives him credit. Uh, you know, Philip Rivers is, is having a great uh, is having a great year. Mm -hmm. Uh, Antonio Gates looks to be healthy. So you, when you have a healthy Antonio Gates in that offense, they can pretty much you know. What about their running game? Uh, you know, uh, running game is not really good. Okay. But you know, but I do believe that they are the best team in the AFC West. I I would like to. Uh, that's what I said before the year. But remember, they have lost Ryan Matthews at least that's for a while, and I I'm afraid Danny Woodhead's.
gone for the year, and they had both of them in their upset win over that, Seattle. That's always kind of been the MO with the San Diego Chargers, that they, they are never physical enough on offense and on defense. That's kind of one of the things that, that's really plagued them, you know, in the playoffs, and, 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 yep. and, and Phillip Rivers really making that leap is that, you know, they're not really a grimy football team yeah. when, when it comes to football and you know, on defense and offense. They but have but I do agree. Phillip Rivers might be playing the best yes, quarterback in the NFL yeah. right now if we're just doing oh, right oh, now. Oh, so now we're allowed right to now. say right now. Well, now we're allowed I, to say right now. No, I'm, going, going, I'm no, following you. Know, want to make a That's your rule. That's not right now. What did you say right now? Right now. Right now. Well, that's what you told me. Number 10. I got, I, get, I got Dallas right where the rank at number 10. Thank really? you. Really? Yeah. How about them Cowboys? What are you thinking about them Cowboys? Uh, LaMarco Murray is playing some good football right okay. now. Okay. But at, at the same time, what I say, you know, I still leave them at number 10 because Tony Romo, Tony Romo is still the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> That's he's, a shot. He's still, the, he's still the quarterback. He had a better week than Brady. Yeah, he, he had a better week than Brady, but, you know, Tony Romo is – always find a way to, to lose a football game, you know, sad as it may sound. I mean, he, he does. I, that, that's kind of his, that's his, his kind of his reputation. But right but, uh, now. Because this is what we're talking about. Right right now. Now. At this now. moment. Right he's now. Yeah. Yeah. How about them Cowboys? All right. Is that it? You got anybody else? Well, Indianapolis Colts. I got oh. them ranked number seven. All right. Seven? They're, yeah. They're better than 11. They're definitely better than 11. They're better than the Dallas Cowboys? Absolutely. Well, uh, hold on just a second. Let me look here. I would take the in, Indianapolis right Colts over the Dallas Cowboys any day of the week. Okay, so I'm looking and at Indianapolis's results. So they open the year at Denver. They basically get blown out by halftime. At they, Denver, season okay. opener. Okay, and they come back to 31-24, but they were never really in the football game. Then they play Philadelphia at home, and they lose 30-27. to Philly does the Jekyll Hyde thing. Right. But, but still, Philly is imminently torturable on defense. Uh, they, they give up huge chunks of yardage every game and they seem to overcome it until finally they couldn't catch up to it in San Francisco. But but those are their two losses and their two huge wins that, that have vaulted them on Plax's list all the way up to number seven are over Jacksonville, albeit in Jacksonville, okay. and then a crumbling Tennessee at home that they annihilated forty one to seventeen. On the strength of two and two, how can they be better than Cowboys three and one with the huge win on Sunday night over New Orleans? Because you just have to look at what the reputation of the Dallas Cowboys is. Oh, I mean, so you're just going that's on what, that's ancient what I'm going history. I'm not going off of ancient history. <laughs> no, I'm looking at them on a week to week basis. Yeah, they had two good they had two good weeks in a row. Lamarcus Murray has started the season off, season off with three one hundred yard games. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's gonna come down to the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles in that division. And, you know, I don't think that the Dallas Cowboys, you know, are better than the Philadelphia Eagles. So, so project Cowboys just off the top of your head. Will they finish eight and eight again, as they always seem to do? I give the Cowboys nine and seven. Nine and seven. Okay. That's being generous. And that's no and I don't have the San Francisco 49ers in my top ten. I'm with you on that. You got them winning the NFC East Eagles. What do you? Have? Uh, Eagles. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't have really many issues with this list because Seattle is in a league of its own and should be on top of the power rankings right now. Okay. First week of the season or the 16th week of the season, they will be number one in my power rankings, I'm pretty sure. The Dallas Cowboys should be the 10th ranked team in this, this country at this point, which is phenomenal to me, but they have earned the 10th spot. And all I have to say is I know we're just doing right now, yeah. but – if you had told me a week ago, or even certainly two weeks ago, that the Patriots would be 16th and the Saints would be 21st, yeah. I would laugh out loud at that. Because trust me, when all is said and done, neither team will be out of the top 10 okay. to me. Yeah. Patriots right. or Saints. Okay. Well, you know that. I mean, you picked the Saints to go to the Super Bowl. I'm oh, trying to defend your pick. I, I, I'm trying listen, to make you feel better. He gave up on that the other you day. You cannot yeah. sit there and bring up the Saints on me when I've already put a yeah. bag over my head. Said the Aints. Aints. He went out on You them. can't do that. Yeah, he's You done. can't do I that. I still think they're going to win their division. You know, still the only quality win this year by the Dallas Cowboys was the New Orleans Saints. So. All right. We'll see how the rest it's of pretty the quality. Plexico. By the way, Nelly keeps texting me and reminding me that the New England Patriots will not even make the playoffs. Okay. You know what? We don't really care. What <laughs> <Nelly thinks. laughs> no. I just want you to know that. I just want—he keeps texting me to tell me to tell you that. Yeah. Ooh, we. Where, where is he now? Is, is, is he still? Is he still oh. performing anywhere? Oh, he, bye. I, oh, 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 he's a friend. Oh. He asked for it. He, oh. he asked for it. Oh. Nelly, Nelly. He didn't say anything about it. We got to get him back on the show. We got to get off.